boiling points of alkane, this chart is show the boiling points of alkane that has uh, different numbers of carbon atoms. Okay, so this is the boiling points of uh, alkane with one carbon atoms. This is the temperature. Okay, and the temperature, the unit is in, is in Kelvin. Kelvin. Okay. Now, what's the name of the alkane that has one carbon atoms? The name is methane, right? Okay, so the alkane that has one carbon atoms in the molecule is methane. Then how about the alkane, the alkane that has two carbon atoms in the molecule? The name is ethane. Eh? Okay, three carbon, propane, four carbon, butane, five carbon, pentane, and six carbon, hexane. Eh? Okay, and uh, you need to memorize this name. Eh? Okay. Now, from this chart, we can see that as the numbers of carbon atoms increase, uh, the uh, boiling points, okay? So these are the boiling points. Uh, the boiling points of the alkane increase. We are going to explain that later. Why? Uh, why when the numbers of carbon atoms increase, uh, the boiling points will increase? We'll discuss that later, okay? So for the time being, you just need to know that when the numbers of carbon atoms increases, the uh, boiling points uh, of alkane increases, okay? Okay, now another thing that you need to know is the state of matter of the alkane at room temperature, okay? Room temperature is about uh, 25 degrees Celsius, eh? okay? And 25 degrees Celsius is equivalent to uh, 297 Kelvin, eh? 297 Kelvin, okay? Okay, this is 200s, eh? this is 200s, okay? So it's, it's here. Huh? Okay, 297 Kelvin is here. Um, so from here, we can see that the first four alkane, uh, the boiling point is lower than uh, the room temperature. Okay, if the boiling point is lower than the room temperature, therefore at room temperature, okay, these four alkane, uh, it exists as gas. Okay, because their boiling point is lower than room temperature. So at room temperature, they will become gas. Uh, okay. After the fourth alkane, okay, the boiling point is higher than the uh, room temperature, which means at room temperature, they exist as liquid. That's what you need to know, okay? The first four alkane exist as gas at room temperature because their boiling point is lower than the room temperature. So two things that you need to know, okay? Uh, the boiling point increase when the number of carbon uh, atoms per molecule increase, and the first four alkanes are gas at room temperature. Now just now we have learned that when the number of carbons per molecules of alkane increases, then the boiling points of alkane will increase, right? Okay, uh, in SBM, you need to explain this. Why when the number of carbon per molecule increases, then the boiling point increase? Uh, to explain this, uh, you need to know the forces that act on the molecules, okay? Now, uh, let's say this is a molecule, eh? okay? And uh, this is a molecule of uh, methane. Eh? Methane is the alkane with one uh, carbon atoms. So let's say this is a molecule of methane and this is another molecule of methane. This is one is another molecule of methane. There are two types of force involved here. Now the first one is called the intramolecular force. Now intramolecular force is the force inside the molecule. So this is a molecule and this is a force inside the molecule. And this is called intramolecular force. Usually we call it the chemical bond, okay? So this is a bond. The intramolecular force is a bond. And uh, this is another molecule. And there is also the force between these molecules. Uh, that is the force. This, these are the force. And we call it the intermolecular force, okay? Intermolecular force. So intramolecular force is the force inside the molecule. And intermolecular force is the force between the molecule, okay? So these are the intermolecular force. And the boiling point of a substance is affected by the intermolecular force, okay? The boiling point is not affected by the intramolecular force, uh, but is affected by the intermolecular force. You must be very, very clear about this, uh, okay? The boiling point is affected by the intermolecular force. That's the first thing that you need to know. Uh. Now, uh, let's compare this alkane with this alkane. This alkane only has one carbon, and this alkane, it has two carbons uh, and therefore uh, the molecule is bigger the molecule is bigger and um, 
there is also intermolecular force uh, between this molecule. Uh, the strength of the intermolecular force is affected by the size of the molecule. The bigger the size of the molecule, the stronger the force. So this one, it has a smaller molecule, the force is weaker. And this one, it has a bigger molecule, uh, therefore the force is stronger. And uh, if the force is stronger, means that more energy is needed to break it during uh, boiling or during uh, this melting. Uh, the name of the intermolecular force is called the Van der Waal force. So this intermolecular force is called the Van der Waal force. Okay, Van der Waal force. Huh? Uh, if you want to memorize, fine, and if you don't want to memorize, okay. Uh, because uh, in, uh, if in the exam they ask you to explain, uh, then you can use the word intermolecular force. Uh. You can also use the word van der Waal force if you want. Okay, But if you can't remember this name, then just use this, uh, this word, uh, intermolecular force between the molecules. So, okay, the explanation is like this. Okay, So when the number of carbons per molecule increases, the size of the molecule increases, uh, okay? So number of carbons, when, when the molecule has more carbons, uh, the size of the molecule will become bigger. And if the size of the molecule increases, the intermolecular force or the Van der Waal force, okay, uh, will increase because the intermolecular force is affected by the size of the molecule, uh, okay? This is true for covalent compound only, yeah? Uh. Okay, so when the intermolecular force uh, increases, then uh, more energy is needed to overcome this intermolecular force and therefore the boiling point will increase. And make sure that you know how to explain this uh, because uh, this is a uh, very famous question in the exam. Eh?